HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials for beginners. CSS positioning, absolute. We're going to explore what that is all about. Now, what I've done is I've taken the image and placed it underneath an article and above an aside element. Currently, that image has no CSS declared to it. So therefore, in the normal flow, this is where it's going to stay at. Even if the size of the browser changes, that image stays there. But now, let's do something like this. Let's position that element, image element, let's say 200 pixels from the top, and let's say left 200 pixels. And let's give position absolute. Think of position absolute is that you're taking the element out of document flow and you are controlling its position absolutely according to your settings. So let's now refresh and take a look at what happens here. So that element is taken out of the document flow and positioned absolutely according to your settings and in this example it's 200 pixels from the top and 200 pixels from the left according to HTML because we have not defined any other positioning anywhere else within this document so instead of saying left let's say right and let's see what happens when we refresh this page. As you can imagine, it's just going to be pushed to the right. But remember, when you use position absolute, and if you're looking at the element that you're positioning absolutely, and then things are not the way that you want, then remember to look at other positioning that means let's imagine you position the body as an example if that's the case then your element will be positioned to its parent in this example let me put a style let me say position relative let me save changes and remember what's going to happen now because we've defined a position of sort whether it's relative or anything else such as static, which is a default, or relative. So now this is position with some CSS. That means this image will now be positioned according to this. Let's refresh to see. As you can see, something moved because the body section has that padding to demonstrate the point even clearer for you let me position the section instead now that image being positioned absolutely 200 pixels from the top 200 pixels from the right according to the section element that means if I refresh this page That's 200 pixels according to beginning of the section element. Make sense? So I didn't want to give you the simplest way of understanding position absolute because I know 100% that when you start using position absolute, even though you're gaining absolute control, you may see things in different places and they're wondering, well, I'm using position absolute why is it not where i want the element to be at and that's why you must triple check other positioning within your html because position absolute considers that as a starting point and once again remember position absolute is taken out of the normal flow and i'll talk with you in the next video session